Hey, Andrew, um, so how do I get like a six pack quick? What's the best, fastest way to get a six pack? Why does it have to be quick? Why does it have to be easy? Why do you think life is all quick and easy? Why can't it be hard and difficult? Why can't you suffer? Because suffering is what gives it value. If everyone had a six pack and it was quick and easy, then it wouldn't be valuable, would it? If everyone walked around with a quick a six pack and they got it easily, then no one would give a shit. The whole point is that it's difficult to get. Value is linked to difficulty. If you want something that is valuable, you need something which is difficult to obtain. The fact that you just said you wanted it quick and easily shows that your whole mental model is fucked. You shouldn't be thinking about quick and easy. You should be thinking about hard, suffering, pain, going through it. That's what you should be thinking about. This is going to be hard, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because when it is done, then everyone's going to know that I went through something difficult. Why do you want it to be quick and easy? Your mind is broken. You're going to have to work when you don't feel like working. That's how it's going to have to be. Or you're never going to be eating. One of the only things in this world you can control is your state of mind. You can't control the weather. You can't control other people. You can't even control your health. You might get a brain hemorrhage. Or you might get hit by a bus. One of the very few things in the world you have genuine control over is your state of mind. You decide if you're a disciplined person. You decide if you're a happy person. You decide if you're a uh, depressed person. These are things that in real time you can affect in your brain. This is all you can control on Earth. If you can't control that, then you're just a feather in the wind. And life's gonna blow you around and you might land somewhere good, you might land in dog shit, nobody knows. Your state of mind is what you should be able to control. If you can't wake up and say, today I'm making some money, and actually try your very, very best, and actually stay dedicated to that task. If you can't do that, you're fucked. It's not difficult, there's just no competition because everybody's fucking distracted. They're getting distracted by this, distracted by that, watching fucking Netflix jerking off to Pornhub like fucking jackasses. It's so easy to win if you can control your own mind. If I don't feel like training one day, which happens because I'm human, I don't think, well, I can have a day off because it's only a day and I'm gonna look the same and no one's gonna notice. I think God will know and he will be upset with me. So I have to go and train and by doing it, I benefit, of course. Everyone close to me benefits because I become that tiny fraction percent stronger. You have to understand that God is always watching you. That's why it's important to always do the right thing. Always be polite, always hold the door open, always give that $10 to charity, even if nobody sees it, even if you don't tell anybody. Always help that old lady crossing the road, always have a smile, always train very hard, always be honest, don't lie, because God is watching. Why I think I fight? Do I enjoy it? No. Do I enjoy training? No. Do I enjoy cutting weight? No. Am I nervous? Yes. Do I think to myself, what am I doing? Yes. Completely. Unfortunately, it's one of those things you're either born with or you're not. And the only way I can explain it, to try and make it make any sense, is that if I'm not doing something which is either extremely difficult or extremely stressful, I'm in a perpetual state of crippling boredom. I can't explain it. I see other people live their lives and they're like, oh, I can't wait for the weekend because I want to watch this movie. I think, who cares about a movie? You're looking forward to the weekend for a movie? Looking forward to the weekend to get drunk? Like, these things to me are so mundane. They mean nothing. And if I don't fight, if I'm not in a situation where I'm stressed or worried or concerned, I'm just perpetually bored. And boredom's crippling. If you're an intelligent person and you've got a good brain on your shoulders, you can't just sit there bored, you know? So most smart people take the academic route to avoid boredom and they learn, 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 but that's never really interested me either. Although I've always been an intelligent guy and I've always done well academically, it, was, it never really interested me. And then I see people climb Mount Everest or jump off buildings or do base jumping or the guy who jumped from space, people think, what's he doing? He's crazy. I understand because some people can't live normal lives. Some people cannot just function nine to five office job, get drunk at the weekends. That is not for some individuals and it's not for me. So I have to find something which keeps me physically tired enough to stop me going AWOL um, and mentally tired enough. And I've chosen fighting because without this, when I'm not in training, I wake up every day and think, okay, what am I gonna do today? It's 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, I'm bored. Everyone's at work, I'm bored. And I'll end up doing something crazy. I'll either end up drunk or, or on the Eurostar or, you know, it's just, it's just a random lifestyle because I'm constantly looking for never ending entertainment and it doesn't exist. I think the only thing that could stop me fighting is if I had enough money to constantly entertain myself. Unless I'm a billionaire, I need something that keeps me focused and keeps me occupied in life. With fighting, I have to train twice a day and I have to train hard. And the stress, can be, the stress it brings in every aspect can replace fun 
and my mind is occupied. It occupies me. It's the only way I can try and explain it. It occupies me, and I could never stop doing this even if I lost 100 fights because I'm not built to live a normal existence. I can't do it. I couldn't just have a kid with some girl and sit at home and work a little bit and relax. I've never relaxed in my entire life. I don't know what relaxing is. It's just not me.